Hello guys and welcome back to Mass Effect where we last left off we turned into black blobs again and uh, we followed Saren down here and we talked to a VI on Ilos so we're going to keep going ahead and hopefully when we get through the, um, the mass the uh, not the mass relay the uh, the conduit we'll get where we need to go and it will fix all these blurbs and then we'll be able to like actually see our characters rather than being black blobs so let's just continue on uh, do, 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 do. Whee! Oh crap! Whee! I don't want to do that, but whatever, it's fine. Blue stuff. Dead. God damn it, this place is too narrow to drive around in. Oh, Colossus. Whee! Right, where's the. Ah, oh, there it is. Do, 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 do. Gotcha. Now, on we go to the next area. Whoosh, whoosh. Or is it the next corner? I can never remember. It's been a while since I played, got this far. So, around we go. Gotcha. We are nearly there, I think. Yep. So, save the game. And onwards, comrades. Make things easier, do a jump. There we go. Head we don't start. have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these geth aren't going to make it easy on us. No, they're not. They are. Now, hopefully the cutscene won't be ruined. Woo! Here comes the army! They are not prepared! Oh, that's one down. goes the big battleship. Well, at least they're not blue blobs the or whatever. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? Nope. They're dead. Citadel has small hips. I mean, Saren has small hips. The Citadel has small hips. What? Right, here, you can just ignore everything, because, I mean, you have to drive straight into it, and you've only got 30 seconds or so. So, you know, ignore everything. If you can shoot them, do it, but other than that, fuck them. Oh, uh, 20 seconds. Go, 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 go! Uh, 15. Whee! <laughs> Yeah, we got it. Critical fickle units detected across all monitored systems. Please be 
begin emergency evacuation. Will we be a black bulb? No! Smash! Haha! <laughs> Here we come to save the day! And we're back to normal! This is good! It's good to be back to normal! So now... All we need to do is stop Saren! Oh, here come some husks. Set up a trap for them. Avina, what's up? The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Status report. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. The Council. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. Other survivors? Anyone what else? Captain Anderson, in the what happened to Yeah, even that? though he's a dick, I don't want him I to have die. information on the status of specific Not yet, anyway. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. What about Saren? Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the council chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond <laughs> at this time. Might be because the whole place is under attack. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation. I don't even need my timer on. This is so what am I doing? Here. We're just going to keep playing until we finish this. Get in the elevator, guys. We've got to save the world. The galaxy. Shooting keepers. Uh, maybe he's angry that they didn't do their job. I guess. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. That looks like a bigger version of the Normandy. But then again, it was designed by humans and Turians, so it probably is why they look the same. You might want to move. You might want to... Okay, never mind then. Well, it got in. I never noticed those wires before. The wires that actually go into the Citadel Tower. I never seen that. I always just thought it just, you know, clat latched on and that was it. I didn't know wires came out of it and actually went into the Citadel Sarah's Tower. That's pretty elevator. cool. Suit up. We're going outside. Yeah. Hey, look at those pieces of broken glass everywhere. Magnetic boots. We're finally using the space aspect of this game. It looks like we have to climb up. Alright, let's go guys. A 
There's a face hugger on some on the Citadel's face. We gotta get it off before it starts impregnating an alien egg inside it. And fucking everything up. Easy. I have no time to stop for you, Geth. I like that also because we're in space, if they get knocked off the platform, they just float away. Right. Whoa. Damn, I'm stuck. Right, Rex. Switch to assault rifle. It'll be a lot more useful here because we're doing long range fights or long to medium range. So, shotgun won't work well here. run right into me. Around the corner. Uh oh. Turn the fence turret on. And the other one. I think if we also take out the Geth, it does more, it does damage to it as well. I think, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, oh, there we go, all done. Bye bye. So far, so good. We just need to keep fighting our way through. Alright, force push them. Look at him go! Careful where you're standing, Sovereign! Oh shit! Gotcha, we're gonna go down here though. Make things a lot more easy on ourselves. <laughs> Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Go away! Stop running at me! Alright, we're nearly there. Come on. We gotta stop Saren before he destroys everything and everyone. Even himself. Right. 
we actually have? No, we don't. game and now we gotta go fight our way sir fight our way to Saren before it all hell breaks loose and everything's on fire bugger I didn't want to do that Ow. you know you could have taken up better positions Saren! Stop! <laughs> oh, duck! But afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. Killing Geth is slow work. Had to wipe out a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. Yeah. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are you gone. I believe idiot. in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need or Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. Yes, but I he can control you whenever he wants to. He's doing it right now. All organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign. Uh, right, what we could do, we could persuade him to turn against them, but it ends up being anticlimactic. It seems to be more of a moral victory, but it's not as fun. So, you know what? Shepard's been through a lot. He's lost Kaiden, he's lost lots of people against Saren and this Geth and this and Sovereign. You know, he's had enough of this shit. So, you know what? No. No more stalling, Saren. Let's finish this. You should have joined Sovereign when you had the chance. We're gonna kill him. Plus it feels more um it feels a lot cooler when you do it. Uh pistol. Oh come on, you still have a heating. At least it gives us a chance to like get all our skills back. Where is he? Gotcha! Ho <laughs> yeah! I've had enough of your bullshit, Saren! You know, 
Shepard had enough. He just couldn't be at. He, he just couldn't deal with having to talk to a guy who has just been so indoctrinated and he's just lost too many people so he just you know was you know what fuck this bang bang <laughs> you know and he doesn't have time to talk politics he has to do this vigil's data file worked i've got control of all systems quick open the station's arms maybe the fleet can take sovereign down see if you can open a communications channel It's me. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Yeah. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? We've got to save the Ascension, okay? It's pretty much obvious, because we need galactic support, and we need the aid of the other races. We need people on our side. So the more people that we save, the more we'll have on our side. So we're going to save them. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. Plus, what would be the point of sacrificing? I hope the Council them? appreciates this. Sure, we'll get sovereign faster, but there will be a risk at loads of lives, more than just the Ascension. It's so time to be a badass again. To the rescue! Sure he's dead. Yeah. You know, that scene would be the exact same if you managed to persuade him, but it makes no sense because no glass shard impales him like it does here, but it's still there, so that's why I did it this way, because it makes more sense and it's a lot cooler when it happens this way, so. And look, Rhett gets to do it. Because, you know, the whole genophage thing. And he wanted his head, so he shot him in the head. He's dead. Uh-oh. I told you he would control you through your implants! Final boss! Let's get it on, badass thin looking Saren monster thing. I am sovereign, and this station is mine. Not for long. Switch to shotgun, it might be useful here. Right. Garrus, you keep that. Sarex, you use shotgun. I'm stuck! What am I stuck on? Can 
gonna use this now. Right! Go on, guys! Get it done! Ah, uh, shit. Sovereign's too strong! We have to pull back! Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Where'd he go? Take your shields! Uh, uh, stop moving! Dead. Come on, die, 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 die! <laughs> gotcha! Ah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah! We did it! Must have used a lot of energy to make that sarin thing. Guard on my flank. We're going in. <laughs> yeah. No, we kicked its ass. Bye bye, Sovereign. Uh oh. Oh, Go. bugger. Rex and Garrus. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? A giant arm landed on me. I guess that's the only way to kill me then. Because I'm a. Yeah. Uh, yeah, always have to be the last one showing up. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I was just having a party, you know. I kind of pulled my arm. <laughs> the smoke spiral. <laughs> you can get rid of it that easily. Oh, man. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. Uh. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. 
There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. Damn you right. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. <laughs> you have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Damn right. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor. Yeah, shut up, Regina. And humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Ah, Anderson or Udina? Udina understands politics, but he's a politician, so... You know. Anderson is a soldier. He knows a little bit about politics, but that's about it. But he will be useful for when we actually get attacked by the Reapers, and we'll be able to do good things, I guess. So yeah, I'll choose Anderson. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. That someone too. like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. <laughs> Only with you. Nice one. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. That's the point. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. It isn't over yet. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Count on that. Good luck, Anderson. You're gonna need it for this. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Yeah! Kick their ass! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Oh, every time I play this game, man, the ending is always so epic. And there we go. Off on another adventure. Our work's not over yet. So, off we go. Oh, now comes a good song. Oh man, this game, oh, I love it so much. I played this game about 20 or something times when it came out, you know, all the way to completion. I still love it. It's just got that, that passion in it. It's just so good. This is one of my favorite, if not the favorite game I've ever played in my life. It is just that good. And it finishes on a good song. Um, I think it's called M4 Part 2 by the Fawns, or, or however you say their name. It's a pretty cool song. But yeah, this is not the end. We have two more games to do. So, until we do that, and we deal with the council's bullshit some more, I shall see you in the next time, guys. Ciao. It's been fun.